Tammy and I are sitting together because Tammy has been with PSC since she was born. Pretty much. Right? So 23 20, years. 23 years, and you started with us when you were? 22. 22. I grew up here. So we have a lot of time together and a lot of history together, which I love. But also, the journey you've had with us, you've learned so much. Everything in business I know I've learned here. I was a baby when I started. Well, but what I love about that is, is you're able to now take how we think. The hardest thing is to teach new people how we think, don't you think? I do. Especially the little things. Don't, you know, you walk in and they're sitting like this. What it means to be on the edge of your seat and to show urgency and to be present. And little things in our dialogue that I feel set PSC apart from the competition. Why do you think we're known for our customer service? Well, because of you, honestly. I mean, oh, no, no. I'm I know that's not what you're looking for, but everything is so important to us here. All the small things, and we work from the customer back. So every decision we make, whether it's in regard to systems or services or people, we think from the customer's perspective, or we, or we do our best to do that. How do you think we instill a servant's heart on our trainees? So for me, a lot of that came from when I worked really closely with Steve. And I feel that his passion and yours are so contagious. You want to be a part of PSC. You want to be a part of the dream that this company offers. And I feel really fortunate for my time here. And I think that makes you want to serve. But I love customer service, and everywhere I go, I notice it. I had breakfast recently at a place in uh, Joliet. I, was, I wanted to recruit. Recruit? Oh, I love that. They were, they were phenomenal. I thought you were going to give me a bad story. No. But it was a good one. No. I uh, am so frustrated the way kids are, are not taught how to be present. And that's really hard for us because we can notice the lack of presence when we hire someone. You know, Jack gets off the bus and, and the kids, I, today, for, for instance, I was down at the end of the driveway waiting for him so he could jump in the car and we would drive here. And other kids got off the bus and they looked at me and I waved. It was a neighbor. Never acknowledged my presence, never waved, never mm. nodded, nothing. And if that's what we're coming into, how are we going to combat that? I think that's tough. It is something we work on um, when we start, when our team starts, because it's really important to me that when someone walks in the door, you acknowledge them, stand up, say hello, and now with COVID, walk around the desk. And shaking hands isn't commonplace anymore, but we have a conversation. We had a guest here yesterday. And I did assist, because our receptionist is newer, in the greeting. And she thanked me for it. So I was impressed that she picked up on it. I think they'll learn from it. But boy, do you have to be a great example of it. You do? I don't think, um, I think that they'll do what I think is they're very literal now. Stand up and greet the guest. They'll stand up high versus walk around, introduce yourself. You have to say everything. Offer a drink. Exactly. I'll get Terry for you. May I have you sit in the conference room? Right. Those are not obvious things. What's the hardest thing for them to learn about us? I think it takes time just learning who we are, how important every single detail is at PSC. When, when we had classes on site, I like to have our customer service team present in those, but I always explain that they're not only participating in the class, they're working as well. So please get up, help serve lunch, pick up our guests' trash from their table. Those little things, people don't, that's not automatic. Oh gosh, no. And I think for us, it's just second nature. We've been doing it for so long, so. But what about the voice? What's the PSC voice like? I love the PSC voice. I love when somebody is is trained and their mom calls in and says, is that my Colleen? My pleasure? Who says my pleasure? And Colleen's family is notorious for making fun of her. Oh yeah, they call She's her fancy. Yes. Phenomenal. 
but, but it, it at took first some work. It, it did take it some work. Some softening. And you're the final call on that. I mean, there's times I'm, I'm sitting over customer service and I can hear things. And of course I share them with you, but we pay attention so we can redirect. We, can, we pay attention so we can celebrate. But we pay attention, the little things, like you said earlier. It's yeah. big. Tammy, you've been the director of customer service, which we refer to as Salon Matters, for a very long time. Yes. Right? What I'm only 25. I know. So. I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are the three things that you're most proud of about that division of our company? The way we serve, the, the instillment of a servant's heart, how much we care. Our care factor is huge. And when I talk about PSC to people outside of PSC who aren't in the beauty industry, I love that I get to say I work for people who care about us. We care about each other. Um, I'm proud of the brands that we represent. All of them. I love all of our manufacturer partners are amazing. And I'm proud of, I like to watch the cohesiveness happen as we in Salon Matters right now, we have a lot of new talent. Allie is our most senior person and then Madison, but apart from that, we're all under a year. You know, I can remember sitting in meetings when we said we're going to uh, promote from within. And I can, uh, when I looked over at you and I, <laughs> Please Terry, don't take, my don't take my people. But it's such a jumping off point in our company that other things can happen for you. I mean, Colleen is now in finance. Trisha is now uh, relocated to the Indiana area. And she's now in, in, in our sales division. We've had turnover because of other reasons. But you're not afraid of it. I mean, it's not your favorite part, turnover, especially when you're uh, creating depth. No, but sometimes it's a blessing and sometimes it's a necessary part of business. Right. And our team, I know from conversations I've had, they love knowing when they start with our organization that we're good at identifying their strengths. I think Trisha's gonna do beautifully in the field for us. I love what she brings from her experience in Salon Matters. I think we'll serve her well. I do too. I do too. But, what do you like about meeting with uh, the other divisions of the company when we're all together I talking about how we're gonna make improvements and enhancements? I really like with the where we work really closely with the warehouse um, and with the space, but I'd really like to see us strengthen our connection with the warehouse. I think that we have, you know, every day we just work so closely together. I don't feel like I'm answering that question. No, you are. You're answering. But, you know, when we think about when we directors all get together, we learn from each other. There's... I do love the ideas that are brought to the table from other departments. It's nice to get the perspective of someone who doesn't do your job every day. Well, and I also like when, when we respectfully disagree or have to fight for our department. I love when an idea comes up and we go around the table. How is this going to affect customer service? How is this going to affect finance, shipping and receiving, sales? What is education going to do? What is purchasing? So we take into account how it affects how other people operate and do their job. That's really neat. And that has a lot to do with our decision making. Too. Yes. Sometimes an idea might not happen because I saw it only from the customer service perspective. What was the hardest part of COVID for you as a leader? I hated not having my people here. When we, I was, I was grateful for the opportunity to still be able to function as a business once we figured out the logistics of people working from home. But not having the team on site, there's a connectivity that's lost there. And you're less likely to reach out if someone's at, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the phone or I'm going to figure it out or I'm going to resource someone else who is here. So I might have gone to Lou for something that I wouldn't ordinarily have because he's, he was present in the building. Mm -hmm. that, that separation. It's tough. It was difficult. I hated every and second of it. Not having the space open for as long as we did, that was hard. It's, it's really weird not having people here. But we responded and we took action and 
it, we didn't take action just from an optic standpoint. You know, the plexiglass, the take your temperature and have the sanitizer, sanitizer. and so on and so forth. But we took, we really took action from a service standpoint too. In so many ways, we were very fluid. Our, um, a lot of the feedback I got from customers is the gratitude from the PPE specifically that we provide because everywhere else they had experienced massive price increases and PSC didn't do that. Yeah, we but locked we it in. We reduced the prices and made it affordable because we weren't looking to make money on that. We wanted to help people. That's what I like about us. What's the biggest thing you're working people. on in 2021? Coaching. Spending more time working on it. It's still in it, but spending more time working on it. A couple of years ago, you made a big shift of doing a weekly meeting. Yes. What did that do for you? For us, it created connection with the team. Um, and I love, I love when we're together as a group because there's participation. Everybody brings their ideas to the table. I always encourage that. You never know what somebody's thinking. And you've always allowed us the ability to have our systems changed if it's creating stress. Yes. It makes sense for us. You what are those stress points? Right. That and I'm grateful for that. We don't have to live with anything here. No. And, and if it's creating stress and I don't know about it or the director doesn't know about it, we can't change it. Yes. Tammy, thank you. Thank you. This was fun. I think people are going to enjoy fun. just re realizing that what they need to do and how to think in their customer service. I sure hope so. Good. And we'll do this again? Yes. Okay. Thank you.